Hi, and welcome to the brand new episode of Home Assistant running in Synology on Docker. Today we are going to install Home Panel. Stick around and it'll start in 10 seconds. Before we continue with today's video, I first of all want to thank once again Tech on Trade, a local Synology partner, for lending me their own Synology device to be able to record and not mess my home setup. Unfortunately, time has come to return this device, so I had spent a couple of days to find a way how to gap this change. And if you notice, I'm now running it on a Another device, let's call it Synology device with a new IP address. From now on, I will be using other uh, different IP address. First thing we want to do is, of course, log in to our Synology device. Let's double click this. Okay. Now let's check our docker volume here we have to create folder for the home panel it will be mkdra home dash panel and this should be it next step of course is to download docker image and install it Let's start typing sudo super user do so we want to run this with uh, elevated privilege docker run we want to start it as a detached terminal daemon let's give it a name and we'll call it home panel next command is uh, we want to instruct docker to restart container if there is an error so it's restart equals always after that we want to define port although we will not be using it since we will be using host network so it's 8234 8234 and our network equals host last part is we want to map the volume so we want to define that our volume one docker home panel is attached to internal data folder inside container and the last part of course is to download or to instruct docker what image to download so it's timmo001 home panel if everything is correct, Docker should now download and install this image. Let's jump to container. Let's see what containers we have. And we have home panel up and running. As you can see, it's waiting on the localhost 8234 port. Let's open web browser now. And we have here a welcome page for the home panel uh, since we do not have account let's sign up username will be uh, same as always and let's press sign up this is the initial page. What we have to do now is we have to connect home panel with the home assistant. That way uh, we will be able to fill in data inside home panel with all the entities we have already in home assistant. So let's do it. So we'll go to uh, three dashes here, log into home assistant. So it's one and two, one, six, eight, one, 201 for me. And let's try this. And that's it. Our home panel is now connected with the home assistant and we can now start using or configuring it. 
let's check here. As you can see, we do not have a uh, login to Home Assistant anymore. Let's check the configuration. In configuration, you have various uh, options to select. You can change, uh, you can select if you want to backup or restore. You can uh, put here your API key to get the news feed on. You can change, of course, themes, headers, where to show the one to military time, normal time, will it be center, left, right. Let's change this. Let's change. Uh, okay, this is okay. Let's move this to the right. Let's move this to the left. And that should be it. As you can see now, we have left and right. And you just press this pen here and you start adding components here. So first we think, for example, we want to do is we want to do uh, we want to select an entity and we want this entity to be, for example, uh, <laughs> let me think what I have on test setup and guard protection. And let's save it. Next thing, let's add a new button. Let's also leave it as an eight entity. We want to be, we want to make it uh, two by two. So this would be a large one. And let's see what we have from lights here. TV light. Okay, save. As you can see, it's very easy to add entities and add groups. It, of course, all depends what your setup is. I will not go to great extent on how to configure it. There are a lot of other information available on the website. I will put a couple of links there. But you can, of course, work with the, uh, all the entities that are available inside your Home Assistant. At this time, I'm still not using Home Panel in my setup. I have to revive my tablet and I will have on the wall touch panel where I can control all the devices. Of course, you can add additional tabs here in order to, so you just press here button, you have a new page and then you can add additional entities, groups or whatever you want. This is it for this short episode of Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of comment or a question, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified. Of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you, bye bye and have fun.